Pretty young girl from Zambia You know that she ain't with the drama Light skin girl Osama You know she the bomb, she cause trauma are a lot of colors. I like this. So those ones have textured finishes. Mm-hmm. So they have a bit more personality to them. Yeah. Yes, the one you picked. Ah, uh, okay. It's like same but different. The living room, I'm going for more like neutrals like this. So this doesn't tickle your fancy? No. No. Okay. Stuff like that for like a kitchen, yeah, sure. Okay. But yeah, like Places had units that had that orange stuff, and I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> not for the aesthetic I'm going for. So the one you wanted for this one, I showed okay. you, was possible. Ah. That's the one you're looking for. They don't have that in stock. Uh, well, some, yeah, some, 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 of these, some of these colors, mm -hmm. they're so unique that not many people know about them. Because it's from South Africa, mm -hmm. those colors are basically showing me the ones they normally produce on an everyday basis. That yeah. natural oak yeah, is yeah. a fave. It's like a fave. <laughs> so, yeah. If you want something that's tailored to you specifically, mm -hmm. uh, you can order. It's just going to take a bit more time. Yeah. See, I'm not trying to wait. <laughs> yeah, this was like perfect, literally. Like, so nice. But I feel like a close second is probably this one. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm going for like, um, like, like I said, that plain white was just boring. So for I'm going for like something with character, you know. Three hours later. I don't want to show too much, but it looks really nice. Hey guys, welcome back to welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Nyamba, and I create YouTube content which you should subscribe to. Okay, so I'm starting this vlog as like a two week countdown to when I. I can't believe I'm saying that, like... Ah, ah. <laughs> so right now I'm actually at the place. It's still like a construction site, like not everything's super done yet, so I've been coming to check on it and stuff, but the tiling's all done now, it looks really nice. I'm just like so excited, you guys. But yeah, I just thought I'd start this vlog now, and I will obviously take you guys along. It'll be a whole like moving series, but yeah, I just thought I'd start it now. And I'm just super excited, so yeah. <laughs> Run week later. Hey y'all, so we're officially like a week and a day till we get the keys. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say till I move in, but I doubt I'm moving in on the day I get the keys just cause I don't know yet, okay? In light of it being a week and a day till we move in, I thought I would unbox these spice jars that I got. I ordered them off a page on Instagram basically and I got a set of 10. I'd originally wanted the 24, but I'm like, honestly, like I don't be using that many spices. So 10 is like a good start. Child, this knot is knotted. So yeah, it's just been sat in my room all this time. So finally i said let me open it let me see what we're working with also today i'm gonna go to the flat again um yeah just to check on the progress and whatnot see if we're still you know on schedule for them to be done by next week so yeah Ooh, exciting oh my gosh it looks so cute oh my gosh let me show you so this is them they just have the different spice names on them and yeah so cute so cute okay so after taking them out of the box and organizing the or not really organizing them but laying them out i just realized that they're two steak and tops so i just messaged the person saying you put in two steak and tops keep in mind i got this package like a week ago i just didn't have time to open it and that's not me trying to peel it off it was literally like that so we'll see what they say i hope it's not a headache to try to correct this Later. I am here right now. Um, not much has actually changed from last week, oddly enough. It's super echoey. I'm actually standing in my room right now. Look at the lighting. Period. Period. <laughs> just looking around. Wanted to see if there was any progress. There's none, literally, but it's just always nice to come around here. We're at the site, y'all. Site 
site visit, site visit, site, site visit. Actually, that's what I wanted to do. Where's my measure thing? No, I'll say it. That's what I wanted to do. A, B, ten inches. 2.4 meters. Wait, look. No, I'll say it. I want the couch to end here. Is that too big? Did you make the case? What should we actually do? Hmm? No, because then the couch would go like this and I don't want it to. The base is heavy. No. Yeah. I don't want the back. But that's how it's gonna have to be because this. Bro, I'm not getting a TV. You are. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's, that's what she wants to understand. No, that's why it's there. No, in my head, my vision is the couch is facing this way. No. Yes. Get out. Yeah. It's facing this way because that's going to be where my mirror is. Yeah. My mirror, listen. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Absolutely not. Yes. My mirror is going to be here. This is like my filming corner, in short. Mirror is going to be here. The couch is going to be behind me. I'm going to have some cute stuff going on here. The couch is going to be like that. And back here, I'm gonna put like my work table or something. So the car facing here, car facing here, your work is doing here, the table can be. No. This wall. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna look closed if I do that. If the, like you walk in and then the first thing I see is the back of the couch now. One week later. Hey guys, so I was supposed to be coming to y'all with a really exciting news, but I have the opposite of that. I was supposed to get the keys tomorrow, which is the 1st of April, but that's not happening anymore because the move-in date got pushed back by about 10 days. <laughs> According to management, that's because there were a few hiccups. Like they were importing certain things, like the sink and I don't know what else. I don't know the toilet, whatever. So they only got to Zambia a few days ago, basically. And then another thing is Zesco still need to like put a mini substation within the yard because it's like a pretty big yard so that there's power connected to the new block of flats. So yeah, that happened. So we won't be moving in until literally around my birthday. <laughs> which is um, crazy because <laughs> I wanted to be like semi settled by my birthday but I'm not complaining it's still like something to look forward to and it gives me more time to just you know get things in order I guess today is Friday the 31st of March and I'm gonna do my routine weekly flat checks either way last I checked they were putting in like the geezer and other electrical bits so we're just gonna still go see what's going on with that and yeah oh yeah yeah, let me go shower and then we're gonna head there. So we're here again. The only thing we've seen different really is like more plastering that's been done. I'm in the bathroom right now. At this point, I might end up showing you the whole house before even the official tour, but so not much to see. But soon, soon it's gonna be done. I just can't wait, like I'm so excited. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the 18th of April today and it's officially 18 days past the date I was supposed to move in. Well, 17 days if you want to be technical about it because it's supposed to be the 1st of April. I've been given zero update. I was told there would be like a 10 day delay. I don't know if I said that in the last clip. Child, at this point, I don't even know what I've said, what I haven't said, but if I'm repeating myself, my bad. If not, well and good. Yeah, they said there was going to be like a 10 day delay or whatever in construction and that 10 days has passed and I've received nothing like I tried hitting them up on Friday to be like oh is there an update from the last time we spoke yada yada I was literally left on blue ticks so now I'm physically going to the flat to see if there's any progress and if any like to see what's left to do because I'm literally telling them I want to move in on Monday because the following weekend I'm supposed to be traveling and like by then I wanted to be kind of settled so here goes nothing let's just let's just go see how this this all turns out we're here now i'm so nervous to go in because i don't want to be mad but i feel like i will be mad as predicted there's literally zero progress zero not even like 0.1 percent zero <sighs> definitive dates okay that's only fair 
Okay, I'm just hoping by next week because as of this weekend I won't have a room anymore. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. No, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. We'll make sure you get somewhere. You, you, you get the roof over your head. Don't All right. worry. Okay. Alright, okay. thank you. Okay. Right. Good day. Bye. Hey all, so I wanted to show you a few bits and bobs I got for the house. I'm constantly buying things even though I haven't moved. But the first one is something I'm super excited for. And it's basically a bath mat. You guys, I'm so excited for this. I hope it fits in there because the bathroom's pretty tiny. But like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Look at it. Can't even fit in the frame. Oh my gosh, so pretty. It looks quite long, but I'm sure I'm gonna make it work somehow. But yeah, this is so cute. Get out, get out. Ow. And obviously my bathroom theme is pink, if you didn't already know. Basically my whole house theme besides my room is gonna be pink, so yeah. Oh my gosh, today I ordered an air fryer. I feel like a big girl for real. Okay, the next thing I got are these shower drain catcher things. Basically they catch, you know, like hair and things. They're actually bigger than I anticipated, but I guess they're a decent size. They have the little grips at the bottom, so you just, you know, stick it in the shower and it's gonna catch all my hair and stuff whenever I, yeah, whenever I wash my hair or whatever. And there's just two of them, I guess, because why not? One day I'm gonna have two bathrooms. I was meant to have two bathrooms, but well, whatever. And then I got these silicon body scrubber thingies. This is a very TikTok made me buy this because all the aesthetics shower routines have these and apparently they are more hygienic than loofahs and i'm a loofah stan like loofahs clean me okay i feel like the key to using loofahs is just changing them out often which i do let me remember how many are in here oh 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 it's really a pack of three for real oh oh that's interesting okay cool this is such a satisfying feeling like i can't wait to use them oh my gosh <laughs> and obviously i'm gonna start by using the these two first well this one definitely to match the pink aesthetic and then this one and this could just be a spare one maybe I guess and obviously I don't have to wait till the house to use these but I just want to and then the final thing which wasn't specifically for the new house but again like I'm romanticizing my showers in my new house is this African net bath sponge thing it's also called like a sapo I know skin ZM skincare ZM sells them but they're always sold out especially the pink one so i had to get this one from amazon my shower is about to be so lit period this tiktok didn't make me buy but i've been wanting one for just like a really long time but the pink is always sold out that is it the next day okay so you guys i've had such a stressful day today it is 4 30 p.m but like the start of my day into like the afternoon and whatnot was just so stressful i ended up actually taking a nap because i was just like i cannot deal with this right now and the update is that after pestering them by the way is that they will finish installing the big things this week <laughs> So that's like all the like the big things. <laughs> the shower casing, the toilet, the sink in the bathroom, the tap, sink and taps in the bathroom, or tap in the bathroom, the tap in the kitchen. What else? And putting in sockets and stuff. I, I explained all that. Like all the big things they say they are installing this week. And then power will be connected next week. 
and water doesn't need isn't an issue because there's a borehole on the property so yeah that's the update so we'll see i ain't holding them to it because i've been getting deadline after deadline on when they're gonna be done but i told them i'm gonna be homeless so hopefully this time they actually stick to their word because i would be so mad you guys like they're gonna see karen for real if they don't stick to their word so fingers crossed Okay, you guys, so I have another really irritating update. Today is Saturday the 22nd, and I was supposed to go back to the flat to check on the progress that I was told would be made. What day did I receive that call? On Wednesday, I think? On Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. One of the days I was told, oh, we're gonna make progress. By the end of this week, you can even come check I'm over the weekend, blah, 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 if you'll have time. So today I called them and I'm like, okay, can I come through? because knowing these people you have to you know i decided let me call before i just show up and there's nothing and i just want to rip my hair out so i call them like no sorry madam we didn't receive the materials blah, blah blah keep in mind these are the materials that they said were at the kazungula border like two to three weeks ago or something and they were finally here because they had to import stuff or whatever no the materials da, 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 so you just end up wasting fuel blah blah, blah. no let me talk to my boss and find out <laughs> I'm just so over it, like, so frustrating. <sighs> Like a lot of the content I wanted to film this month was supposed to be house related and now I ain't got the house so it's very annoying. So over the next couple weeks I'll probably have to book an Airbnb to film because they're just being very annoying and I can't not get stuff done because I'm waiting on people who literally do not care that I have a timeline or I have things to do and stuff. And it's really frustrating because if house hunting wasn't such a pain it would be easy to just say oh let me just get my money back and take my business somewhere else but it's so hard like house hunting in Lusaka is so hard if you've never done it child like I didn't know till I started so that's why I'm just trying to you know wait it out be patient or whatever because starting over right now just isn't the plan like it's just it's just not two weeks later Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. Guys, update. We have a toilet. We have a sink. We have a shower head. Finally, there's tangible things going on here. Guys, we've come today and found a orange chandelier like are you kidding me are you actually kidding me like this is gonna have to change i'm actually gonna change that hey guys so long time no record for this video i don't know if i'm overexposed so i thought i would end it here because i've gotten a few more things that i just haven't unboxed on camera i feel like this vlog is dragging at this point i just want to get into the moving vlogs so i'm gonna end this one here word on the street is that i meant to get the keys this week but i never know with these people like <sighs> As you've seen with the progression of this vlog, it's been over a month, I think, since they told me they'll be done on the 15th of May. And we're now in June. So there goes that. Today's already Wednesday. And they said today, but that hasn't happened. So now it's changed to, no, they'll finish tomorrow. You get the keys on Friday. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just gonna end this vlog here. The next one should probably be- Oh, I'm gonna start a new one. Obviously when I'm getting the keys because I have nothing more to show you guys. I mean, they sent a video of like the updates. They put like the shower door on and da 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 Like there's, you know, there's progress. But it's still not enough for me to be in there yet. Like there's no curtain rods. I need curtain rods. So let me just end this here. I will start the new vlog whenever I get the call to pick up the keys. So thank you so much for watching and coming on this journey with me virtually, even though you've watched it in a few minutes. I've had to live it for weeks. It's literally two months post when they said it would initially be ready. Like that's insane. Anywho, cool kosa. Okay? Okay. That's what they said, the people! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, even though it was kind of frustrating on my part, but I hope you liked it regardless. Don't forget to thumbs it up, share with somebody, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!